Let's make our first real Java object class. This is a very simple example, creating a circle class and a small application that works with that circle. To make a NetBeans project, you need to choose a project folder and a project name, and I'll choose simply circle. To make the first class, use the Java class wizard and enter the name of the class that you want to create, in this case circle, and put it, for us, use the defaults. Now we have a circle class, we have this uh, comment that we do not really need, and there's some comment in here, I'll leave it in because it's nice, and otherwise we have now a complete class. It doesn't do anything useful yet, but it is complete nonetheless. Let's make the application as well. The application is called main, because that will contain our beloved main method, which we can very easily make. Let's first get this, uh, rid of this clutter. Very easily make with PSVM and top, and there you go. Now you have your main program. This allows you to run this application as, an appli as a program, which you can see by this tiny green arrow, or when you click on the button, you can also see that this uh, class, this main Java class is highlighted or selected and that you can run that. It doesn't do anything yet because the main body is there, but it still is empty, so it doesn't do anything. Let's make it do something useful. Let's make a new circle. A circle of the kind we just created in the circle class. That's it. Yeah, of course, I shouldn't type, make uh, typos. That's it. To, uh, if I run this program, it still won't show anything, but uh, um, uh, to make it show something, I should output the just created circle. And if I run this, hooray, we have our first circle. Looks a bit funny, but from circle, we can recognize it's a circle as a bit of a funny number here. Okay, let's leave it as is. Now assume that we are not quite satisfied with any circle, but we want to specify the radius of the circle. To do that, I could create a new circle. That's the idea. Call it circle2 equals new circle. And pass in a, a double, say 10. Uh, add, add a D at the end to make, uh, to make it into a double. And then let um, NetBeans do the work. And uh, this one should also now have. Uh, let, that means do the work, and you, you saw that it had two hints. One is to create a constructor with a parameter, and then it sees it needs another constructor, a default constructor. Let's, ha let's have a look what that been did under the hood in a circle class. What it did is create two constructors. One constructor with a double, and another constructor with uh, no parameter. Let's write the first one. Well, that is the one that was gener generated first and is on top. What we can do now, we'd like this uh, circle to have a radius. Radius equals D, the parameter passed in, and Alt Enter. And it, uh, that means now shows three options. Create a local variable, which is not very useful. Create a field, which is what we want, or create a parameter radius, which is not what we want. So we select the middle one. Now we get a field with a name radius of type double exactly as, as ordered. Now we have still an other constructor with no parameters. Such constructor is a default constructor or default constructor, whichever way you want to pronounce that. And uh, we can uh, easily use the earlier created uh, constructor by invoking that one. So the other constructor as this with the appropriate actual parameter. In this case, let's say we want to have a default circle with a radius of one. It's a nice tiny circle, won't get in the way. That is the thing we need. Now, now we have two circles. One is printed. Let's print the other one as well. Uh, yes, now, of course, I made a copy and waste error. I must uh, correct that. 
look at this uh, tiny trick if you uh, select control shift and then click and then click you have two cursors which is a new feature in uh, netbeans 8.2 and what like, you now can do is you can change text at two spots at the same time which is very convenient this, in this case now let's see what our program does our program has, has two uh, circles which are different well for one uh, I'm using a different reference C1 is a reference and C2 is a reference to a circle object and these funny numbers are different but not very useful let's make a circle a bit more useful let's for instance tell it what radius it has now you should know that all classes have a toString method and this toString method prints useful or sometimes even the only information of, a, of an object in this case we want to generate it we can type that of course but I'm a lousy typist and uh, lazy as well so let NetBeans do the work what you do is you press alt insert and then you get a wizard which allows you to do a few things and the important thing here is select to string I select to string and then you get another wizard or a menu in which you can select what fields that you want to include in the to string representation now let's uh, select the, the only field that's available and click generate now it pre uh, the to string method creates a string with a circle as an identifier for the type of objects that you have and the name of the field and its value close it with a brace so that's what you get if I now rerun the program look what we get we get C1 is circle with a radius of 1 and C2 is a circle with a radius of 10 how nice <laughs>